Hi everyone, myself IRS Nayashra, Assistant Professor, EC Department, PVC Engineering College. Today we will discuss about basic architecture of an FPCA. FPCA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. And it is an, a semiconductor device that can be configured by the customer or a designer after manufacturing. So hence the name Field Programmable is mainly depending upon the programming itself and it is based on the customer or it can be designer hence it is named as field programmable here the FPCA can be programmed by using a logic circuit diagram or a source code in a hardware description long ways so the input to the hard FPCAs can be given by either going to be a schematic diagrams that is going to be designed in your mentor graphics tool or it can be a source code hardware description long ways nothing but VHDL so in that VHDL you are going to go for writing of the code for each and every blocks so by giving that long ways you are going to generate a different bit file for that uh, the from that bit file you are going to program the FPC the FPC can be implement any logical functions that can be up that can be performed by an ASIC here the ASIC is nothing but application specific integrated IC so integrated circuit sorry so the ASIC is a type of IC which can perform a single as operation for example if you take your DHDD curve so in that you are going to have 7 for LS 38 it can perform only a 3 to 8 decoder operation so it is an ASIC so in order to change that IC operation it is not going to be possible so in FPGAs the FPC can work as an a 3 to 8 decoder but if you want to change the design to 4 by 16 by changing the code you can implement it by FPC but in a 6 it is not going to be possible because it is a specifically integrated circuit unlike the a 6 which can perform a single specific functions for the lifetime of the chip and FPC can be reprogrammed to perform at different functions in a matter of seconds it is nothing but you are going to change the code then you are going to perform your different operations on the uh, in a matter of uh, microsecond because you are going to just to dump the code then you are going to have the function of a particular device now coming to the basic architecture it consists of mainly three blocks the first block will be configurable logic block second one is switch matrix third one is input output block to be more clear if you want to implement a complex design like for example for our thing for our level we can say this it is a full adder for instance to design the of the full adder can be mm, divided into sub small sub functions and each sub function can be implemented by one logical box so in full adder what are the sub blocks we are going to have the uh, sum and carry in sum and carry some will be implemented by using two XOR gates at the same time carry will be generated by three NAND gates along with one XO so here these logic gates can be implemented by using a logical block and now to get our design full adder all the sub functions should be must be connected so this can be done by a switch matrix and switch matrix will have the information about how we have to connect the uh, logical blocks means which which output has to be sent to which, uh, which input like for example to uh, for example if you take a b c will be the inputs so a and b xor should be given to the xor gate of c input other input okay like that you are going to have the internal th th like that you are going to have the interconnections so you are going to have the switch matrix for that and for input and output blocks output blocks will be for the input uh, assertion at the same time output taking conditions internal structure of an fpc is depicted in the following diagram so let us see this a block diagram of the FPC. So that uh, here we are going to have the FPCS uh, uh, block diagram. So you are going to have the logic block. Our logic block will be the same as the configurable logic block. And you are going to have the interconnection resources. Nothing but interconnects. Switch block. It is nothing but uh, switch matrix. And input output pin blocks. You are going to say this input and output pins. So now uh, each end will will be discussed in matter. So. <coughs> in matter of details so the logic block 
is like this one so it consists of a lute nothing but lookup table and latch a flip flop on an mux for that so the bitstream will be generated or configured by the um configuration modes and here going to have the inputs for this lut so lut is different from the uh, truth table so based on this you are going to have the functionality of the logic block next coming to this switch matrix it is going to be the switch matrix if you consider the first diagram so before programming after programming each switch matrix consists of uh, each each in the uh, switch matrix each point consists of six pass transistors so you are going to have the question is like that how the pass transistors will be uh, used in the switch matrix in fpcs in the previous uh, examinations so here how we are going to go for this one is uh, how we are going to use the post pass transistor will be explained here so each node will have a six pass transistors and after programming you are going to have different colors the blue color red yellow green so i have mentioned those with the the transistor on conditions so rounding of it so here if i say this as the blue i have been on this transistors next for example if it is red i going to be on this red transistor next it is yellow so here you are going to have this connection so like that i am going to go for this connections six transistor specific matrix interconnect and pass transistor act as a programmable switch for this pass transistor gates are driven by configuration of the memory cells so this is about the basic architecture of an fpc thank you